tutorial number 26, and it covers the circular pattern feature within SolidWorks. To start off, let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now let's sketch a circle and extrude it out. Click Circle, click Front, click on the origin and click a point outside of it. Let's make this 50 millimeters of radius, click OK click feature, click extrude base, and let's extrude it out 20 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's look at the front view, click the front face, click sketch, click the line, and from the very top point, drag it down, click, and then click the outside edge once it turns red. Now using the three-point arc, let's close this sketch. And with the arc, make it until the outside circle goes red, then click. Click OK, and let's cut this feature out. Click Extrude Cut, and cut it out. Now to use the circular pattern, we need to have a feature that we want to use to, to pattern, and that's going to be the, the cut that we just made, and we also need a temporary axis to revolve it around. So let's click view, click temporary axis, and now you can see in the middle that little blue axis is the temporary axis of the circle that we made. Now click circular pattern, click the axis in the middle, and now you can see that we have two parameters to play with again. We play with how many degrees are in between each feature and how many instances of the feature will go around. So let's make this 60 degrees and let's just have five features. Click OK and now you can see how it cut out the five features. Now like the other features you're able to right click on the circular pattern, click edit feature and we can add an extra one in so we can make it six click OK and now we have six cuts now let's open up a new part file click file click new click part click OK and I'm going to show you how to make a saw blade click sketch click front click circle click the origin and we'll make this 50 millimeters also Click OK, and let's extrude this out just 5 millimeters. Click OK. Click the front view. Click the front face. Click Sketch. Click the line. And from the very top point, we'll come down just a bit. And we're going to go right out. And then close the sketch. Now click Edit Features. Click Extrude Cut and cut that feature out. Now we need to get our temporary axis in, so let's click View, Temporary Axis. So now our little temporary axis is back in. Click Circular Pattern, click the axis. Now click Features to Pattern, open up the tree, and click the Extrude Cut. Now Let's add more cuts all the way around. And let's close the gap between each one. Let's make it 10 degrees. And we'll keep going until it revolves all the way around. So we have 10 degrees and 36 cuts. Click OK. And now we've made a little saw blade. Okay, now let's make another part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. And now this time I'm going to show you how to make a gear. Click Sketch, click Circle, click the front plane, click the origin, and let's make it 50 millimeters again, the radius. Click OK, click Feature, let's extrude this out 10 millimeters. Click the front view, click 
click the front face. Now let's click sketch and let's sketch a circle from the origin all the way out until it's red and let's click the origin again and let's make one with a 40 millimeter radius. Click OK. Now click line, click the very top point, click the point on the second circle, click end chain, now click a point on the inner circle, and a point on the outer circle. Now with add relations, let's make those two lines equal. Click OK. Now with the smart dimension, let's make them a little bit closer. Click both lines. And the angle in between them, let's make it 10 degrees. Click OK. Now let's cut out that notch. Click Feature, click Extrude Cut. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of different closed sketches, so we need to choose which sketch we want to use. So this little notch, click that, and that's the one that we're going to extrude. Click OK, and we've cut it out. Now let's view the temporary axis. Click the circular pattern. Click the temporary axis. And let's make it 20 degrees in between each one. And let's keep adding them until we go all the way around. OK, that's good. Click OK. And now we've cut out the gears all the way around. And that concludes our tutorial on the circular pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS.